it's also in the year he had like five computer science classes even going in, uh, which definitely made you a stronger candidate. For those that are just applying for graduate school in a technical field like computer science, what would be some advice you'd give them to help them stand out so they can get accepted? I think there's a lot of things you can do on your own today that weren't as possible decades ago. One of them is you can contribute to open source and you can then show those contributions somehow in your application, perhaps in, in the letter that you write, perhaps somewhere on your resume. I think you can write apps on your own nowadays and get those out onto app stores. And those can be really good uh, show pieces, not only when you apply to jobs, but also applying to graduate school. And I did that. I actually had um, an app or two on the app store when I applied to graduate school. And I, I definitely mentioned that. I, I hope it had some kind of impact because I, I felt pretty good about having that at that time. This was pretty early. This was like 2010 when the app stores are just a couple of years old. That's awesome. Um, so so I think there are things you can do that that are aside from formal education that can show that you have the skill set to succeed in graduate school. Um, and I think that some of these opportunities are really great for self-starters, people who, if you have that passion, these opportunities, do, I don't think they really existed even like, let's say 30 years ago, 40 years ago, that there wasn't a way to prove your skill set in the same way that there is today. So for the people who are motivated, I, I think there, there's all kinds of avenues. Thank you so much for listening to this clip of the Data Talk podcast. To check out the full show or see the full catalog of previous episodes, go to experian.com slash datatalk.